Well, the last time we were here, I mentioned there's a potential Rock Nation deal. And mm-hmm. you were like, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, you know, you'll have to stay tuned and so <laughs> forth. And you end up signing to Rock Nation, I guess, for management. Who said that? Uh, you know, there's a, let's, let's see, where did I hear it? <laughs> who said that? Oh. Who, who said that? You know, I don't just throw stuff out there. Well, uh, well, here we go on uh, Respect Mag. Uh, boom, boom. Benny the Butcher uh, announced his new project, Plugs I Met, who's now under management of Rock Nation. Mm. That's what it says. People, I, people assume that because I talk, because I don't know, but am I signed to Rock Nation? I'm not right now. I'm not. You know You're what I'm not. saying? I'm not right now. Those are my guys You're, over there. We kicking it and we talking, but when every when everything is everything, the world gonna know. I'm a, it ain't gonna be nothing to speculate. You know what I'm saying? The whole world gonna know. Lo and behold, right? I, I had called already, it at that point. I had already signed it, but I just I ain't, and I mean I ain't want to make it public. You know what I'm saying? It was a team thing. We wanted to announce it. You see how we announced it with the picture with Hove and everything like that at the Rock Nation office. I wanted to announce it like that, but yeah, you was spot on. You knew what was going on. Yeah, man. This is what I do for a living. Uh, so how did that Rock Nation deal come together and what exactly does it uh, encompass? Mm. It came together because Wes already had a Rock Nation relationship even before he signed the, sh- the Shady deal. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know. Like, it could how was Grizel the Shady? It could have been Grizel the Rock Nation for his music. Mm. And he, he didn't sign a deal with them at that point, but he kept in contact with them because, you know what I'm saying, it was, it was like personal. It wasn't just like business. You feel what I'm saying? And I remember being introduced to, to the dudes from Rock Nation and it was just a relationship thing. And when we start warming up and we start uh, learning our way around the game, we just thought it was the perfect time in like last year to just take our business over there. And it's a management deal with, Rock, with The Rock. Okay, so what changed once Rock Nation started managing you? Uh, man, what changed when Rock Nation started managing? You know, the the phone calls, the uh, the uh, you know, we got the double XL. You feel what I'm saying? You know, just things like that start happening. You know what I mean? You know, you know how people like to see progress and and they view that as progress. Uh, I got I got better opportunities to work with artists, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's a lot of artists over there at Rock Nation. It's almost like a fraternity, you know I'm saying, or what have you. You know what I mean? So definitely open up a lot of doors, man. Okay. And how's your relationship with Jay-Z? I mean, do you guys have conversations? Has he kind of had talks with you about, you know, about the, the road to come? Big time, big time. Uh, I mean, he's just a cool dude. He just remind me of, like, the money getting... The money getting OG in your neighborhood, who always giving you advice, who want to see you, who want to see you on, who gonna give you an opportunity, and uh, he told me he told me out his mouth like, we about to be doing this, we about to be doing that, and uh, he he ain't lie, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Hove, like shout out to everybody at Rock Nation, Hank, Sam, shout out Chase, shout out Hip Hop, you know what I mean? 